Hello, welcome to PS the tutor. In this video, we'll be doing chemistry, chemical equations. Now, now that the chemical equation, it's a, it's, it's a chemical statement showing reactants and products reacting in a chemical reaction. For example, if we have reaction reactant A reacting with reactant B, forming the product C and product D. These are what we call reactants. All these are what we call products. Therefore, we look at us at some rules that you need to know when it comes to writing of chemical equations. I'm going to use some simple elements. Let's say you are given sodium react with chlorine. From introduction to chemistry, you need to know that sodium is a cation. It forms a positive ion. And chlorine is an anmetal. It forms a negative ion like that. Now the question is, how do we write sodium chloride as a compound which is going to be formed this side? Now when you look here, it's just the same as negative one, same as positive one. Remember opposed charges react so this is going to take place of course now you need to interchange this one goes down there comes here and the other one there comes here now remember when you have one here and one there it's the same as you for you have just nothing so at the end of the day you're going to form something like sodium chloride now we are going to form sodium chloride now, question two, is this equation balanced? If it's balanced, how? If it's not, balance it. So we are going to inspect on the right side, so on the left side and on the right side. We can see that we've got two chlorine molecules here, you've got one. So to make two here, now this is a whole compound, so you need to put two in front. Now, putting two in front of sodium chloride has made chlorine become two, become equal to this one. But it has affected sodium. It has also become two. So I'm also going to add a two here. So that becomes also sodium. Now this equation is balanced. What if calcium reacts with oxygen? What is it going to form? Now calcium is in group two. You must know that. So it forms a cation of two positive like that. And oxygen is in group six. Being an animator, it gains extra two electrons. So we have something like that. Like I said earlier, these are going to cross multiply. The negative two will come down. So this will come here, and the other one will come there. Now this is it's the same ratio. So when you cancel the ratio, you are going to remain with one to one. So we're going to have something like this. This side. Hence, inspect is the equation balanced. If the equation is not balanced, let's balance it. On the right side, you have one oxygen. On the left side, we have two oxygen. So I'm going to balance the right side with two oxygen by putting a two in front here. So that two is multiplying everything. Remember, two is multiplying everything there. So we have two oxygen atoms. Now, this two has affected calcium. We have two calcium atoms here. So we should also put a two in front there so that we are all equal. Now we have another reaction, a metal reacting with an acid. Sodium reacting with hydrochloric acid, what we have? Sodium here is a cation. Hydrogen is a cation. Chlorine is an ion. Now, listen to this. This can't react to this one. These are same charges, so they are going to repel. So this can only combine with chlorine, which are going to form. Because they are in the ratio of 1 to 1, they are going to form something like sodium chloride. So we know that going, there's a compound sodium chloride. It's 